Hello you two, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 6 of Hannibal at the Gates Aravaki campaign. We are at war with the Volkai and in the last part the Vascones declared war on us as well. The treacherous bastards that they are. I'm going to try and deal with them with this army here, the Lusitani Terra. We have more or less full stack, well apart from one unit. We do have three units of Ballista as well. I'm currently at the end turn phase as well so I shall click the end turn and we shall begin this episode appropriately as my navy sails past Carthage or Carthaginian lands, not Carthage itself Nova Carthago, that will do <laughs> and we're quite far in this campaign now, we are on episode 26 oh, I fucking hate spies bastards don't stop me from moving please don't I'm gonna go straight for the Viscones capital I think try to wipe them out if I defeat them perhaps in one or two battles, they might join me in the confederation. So I think that's what I'll try to aim for on this part. Courage Populous, Celtiberias, good. And edicts, we've only got one edict available, that's stupid that is, right. This naval vessel can probably move towards these guys. They might defeat me in a naval battle. Well there was only two and one, so we might be okay. And we're gonna move this army forward. We can move this army. We can, that's good. Okay, I'm I'm confident. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, that's where that army disappeared to. Ah, oh, they're in force march as well. What have they got? They can't they can't recruit on my land, which is a good thing. They got fourteen men. They are replenishing. We have a garrison of eleven men. I need to take something over there, I think. Right, this army going over there perhaps. I'm just looking to see. Yeah, I'm going to take this army, the defenders of Lugos, there. Just to give me peace of mind because I have five units plus three cavalry units, which gives me eight plus the garrison of eleven, which isn't a full garrison, as you can see they're depleted. But with all of them together, I should be able to deal with them. I'm not going to go for them with this army though. I'm just going to continue my, my march northward to here. I need to see what they got there. Just go take small little marches. Come on, discover it. Yeah, there we go, excellent. Can't get in with this turn anyway. What's the garrison? 14 units in the garrison. 10, oh my god. Right, they got too much. I'm gonna drop back to there and hope that they come out and attack me. Oh, frame rate drop, that was a shameful display. Right, this army is the one I'm looking for. Oh my god, is that boot? Oh, it's not a bird. It is a bird, but it's on my... I thought it was actual flying bird that's on the campaign map. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, we can get to here. Once I get to here, I think I probably need to get out of force march because they might attack me and they may ambush me. But this army is going to be going for Portus Amanon, so we can attack from here. And this one's going to attack from here, but... I'm going to have to be careful because if they attack me, I may have to retreat if they outnumber me. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, this army over here has them more or less cornered I think so we can probably come out of this this stance I'm just going to whittle our way forward like so but there maybe I'm trying to get them to attack me so I'm going to go to fortify again just if they can come, if they come out and attack me their garrison doesn't attack me and I can take them on one at a time if I just jump straight in then their garrison of 12 plus 2 although they are suffering attrition which is good they must have some sort of food shortage because some of the garrisons being depleted as well, plus the units again depleted. So that's good for me. Anything which is good for me is welcome. And this army which is here is the one which needs to start rebuilding now to take on the Vascones. So I think we agreed on Scutari Spearmen in the last part. So we're going to go for two of them. And in the next turn I'll have three more units to reinforce this army here. And my ship will be coming there shortly probably embark them at CSIS and then perhaps I'll flank around get the public order going. These spies are really do my head in. I wish I could... <sighs> How much do they cost? Scouts, scouts, recruits... Oh, this is a spy. Yeah, they cost 937. They... They cost quite a bit. That's the... That's a problem of mine. Anyway, we'll end turn and see what happens. We might have a battle coming up shortly. I hope so. I'm eager for battle. I cannot wait. 
fight on the plains of Iberia. Etruscans, Inspurs, Massili, Samnites, Vascones. Here we go. I anticipate this. I might retreat. That's the only thing I will say. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see, this is what I anticipate. They got they got scorpions. They got, oh my god, they got one, two, three, four, five. They got five units of scorpions. Uh, we're gonna retreat from this, guys. Would be foolish to fight them there. Are they gonna attack me or not? They may attack me. Are they gonna use a spy? Bastards. That's okay though, that's bought me a bit of time to go for Portus Aminon. That's the plan in this campaign at the moment. Uh oh. Shit. Okay, you might have an auto resolve by here again, guys. Um, yeah, look at the depletion of these units. I probably could do it, but I'm gonna auto resolve this. Boom, boom. Very high, very high. Protective stance. Should just edge it. Just keep them at bay, that's the aim. Kill the captives. You mad fucks. That worked out fairly well there. The Volkai is still suffering attrition, which is good. Increase in rank. Oh my god. Rebellion imminent. Galatia. Holy shit. Oh, I'm paying attention. Oh, that's fine. We got this army nearby. Ooh, let's go to. Yeah, we're going to go to Astarica first and then branch out from there. That's actually stopped the rebellion for now. I want to be on the move though, I don't want to be sat here waiting for this rebellion to happen. It's come at the wrong time this has. Oh well, doesn't matter, I can probably deal with the rebellion. How many family members can I have? Oh, I've got six out of six armies. That's okay, I can, ju I can just deplete an army, raise one where the rebellion is, hire some mercenaries for that one turn and then, yeah. So we're not going to sit here, we're just going to we're going to go which way is the best. Uh, there, through their lands. Or we can go around. Now we go through their lands. Through there, that's fine. It's going to take us a couple of turns. And uh, how are we going to do this? How many men they got left? Very few. Got quite a bit. Warriors all. An increase. Authority plus corruption. Map movement and cunning. I like the habit of cunning. That's quite. Uh, Good for me. Of course, they're not going to be replenishing whereas we are. Cavalry. Could oh look at that mercenary hoplites. Holy shit, we're going to need them. Four hundred and forty-six. Uh, we're going to have a battle first, I think. We we'll try and take this this settlement. Let's go forward about say there. Right, Emporii. See, I can just sit here and let them attack me. Which I think I might do because they just suffer attrition at the moment, whereas I'm fresh. So that, that would be the sensible thing to do. Not lose men unnecessarily. This army. Oh, shit. Do I go for them now or do I. Uh, I've only got half my movement points as well. We may just sit here for now, I think. Oh, could we just go back across the border, perhaps? Oh, the spy has stopped me. We can only go this way, yes? That's, uh... Ah, oh, look at that. Spy on the bridge stops me. How can a spy stop a whole army? It's stupid. Really stupid. Right, move this one. We'll st sit here for now. N no point jumping in there. Unnecessary, like I said. We need to take that, that province capital, though. That's That's important. Uh, let's see. My ships, I can move my ships. Where are they? Down here somewhere. Of course. Let's go straight for their fleet. Take out their fleet will be good. They suffer nutrition there. They can't replenish here. I could attack them with this army. Let's look at it now. Five units plus three cav. Oh, we should have enough, shouldn't we? Let's bring this army up here. You know what, we're going to be safe. I'm going to play it safe, I think. Citizen Cav, do we need them? I don't think we need them. Let's go for it, let's attack them. I don't think we need any mercenaries. No, we don't, look at this. Another auto resolve, I think. It won't be nice to watch for you guys, so... We'll just go for it. Like so. Decisive victory. I'll release the captives this time. 
and they're not going to be a problem anymore. Although they, oh, I can't reach them. Ah, but these guys can. That's good. Excellent. Ah, oh, there's no point fighting this one, guys. Is it? <laughs> they're all 100%. Let's just go for an aggressive stance. Boom. That's the end of them. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Release any captives. I wonder if you can. Yeah, so you can't go over the mountains here, so you actually have to go around Aruna. Not far off Aruna from here, actually, but we need to go back to our our settlements. Otherwise, we'll get attrition. These spies are killing me at the moment. I need to stop them. What mercenaries are available here? We can have some cavalry. Wish those hoplites were here, not. Ah, we could do this though. Ah, we can hire the unit of hoplites. Then we can transfer them to this army. Get back in there. Oh, it's not letting me. Oh, the court. That's stupid. I can go across the bridge, but I can't go back. Oh, what a fucking liberty. That's stupid. Anyway, I got the mercenary hoplites. I wanted them. They're going to be be a good unit to use in this part of the of the world. And I'm going to end turn again, I think. I'm hoping that they will attack me here, otherwise... I will definitely go for them. I'm just waiting for them to, to be as depleted as possible. And we've actually saved a little bit of money this, this turn now, so... Financially, we're doing better than we have been. But I need to try and consolidate all my lands now, not try and have rebellions popping up all over the place. Let's go where they go in. <laughs> They're going around. Volkai. They've pushed back. Libya. Rebellion in Palantia, okay. How big is the rebellion? Barely anything. I can deal with that straight away. With this army. Luckily I got this army nearby. We can attack them here. Oh, you fucking bastards. Run away. I hate it when they do that. See, I use my movement points to chase them down, but I got this on the way. Let's go to Palantia. They've got to come through here, and I'm a bit there waiting for them. This army's not going to do nothing to to Asterica. Public orders are now good because of the rebellion. And even if they attack with that army, my 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 settlement should be able to hold up fairly easily. So the rebellion doesn't worry me. Now I think the way is open to Asterica, so might be the time now to push forward. I might use both these armies to do it. Let's go a bit further. A bit more. Asterica has... F uh, Aruna has 14 plus 10 as 24. However, I have a secondary army. I can push forward. Plus I got Ballista. So we're going to have a siege battle in a moment, guys. We may actually have a few battles in this part, so I might make this part an extra special long episode for you guys to watch. These armies are going to go back here for the time being. One can go in this province, one can go in that province. Help our public order. We have a navy which is going to go back here as well for now. I'm not going to worry about those ships. I can't believe they haven't attacked me from Emporium. I can just sit there and, and let them whittle away like they are at the moment. It's quite funny. But I'm not going to worry about them for now. I'm going to worry about this. So we have a siege battle on, the, on our our hands. Let's attack them with this army. Oh my god, right, so we have lots of scorpions I'm going to have to watch out for. Let's continue the siege. Ready for orders. What's the cheapest unit? Probably the Gallic Warriors. I'm going to use loads of these mercs. I need them all. All these mercenaries are going to be vital. Push them forward again. Attack. Now the auto resolves in our favour. So, I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So, I'm going to use my artillery to break down the door. I could use my ladders to go for the walls, but there's plenty of men on the walls I want to take out beforehand. I do have some reinforcements which will be coming over here, but I've actually turned off the... Um, take a full stack army of 40 just because the frame rate does go down a little bit with me sometimes and I'm just going to sit down and let the artillery do a lot of the damage for me to begin with 25% already which is good here we go 
Boom! It's up to 40%, that's good. This is good for me. I'm gonna break down the door. Might go for the walls then, try and take some of the units out. If possible. I'm actually gonna control one of these ballistas. I'm gonna take one or two shots for myself. Maybe on the wall over there. Ow. It's not a bad shot. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Just overhit. I'm not very good with blister. I should probably uh, not use not use it manually. <laughs> That's a better shot. Onto the wall. Try and weaken the wall a little bit. Gate's almost open. I'm actually going to get this this unit to aim for the wall over there. This one's not firing for some reason. We're going to move them right a little bit. Gate damage is 100%. Oh, it's done. Gate's open, that's good. Let's get them to... Well, they seem to be firing by themselves at the moment. I want to go for the wall over there. Make the breach as good as possible. Oh, we're going to have to aim for their scorpions, I think. That's, uh, that's a definite. Try and take out their scorpions. Maybe there. Oh, that's too high. My god, I'm terrible. What am I doing, man? Let's go for a quick reload. Wall damage is good. This is good. This is this is weakening them. This is a big battle in this campaign as well. If I can take this, then I'll almost certainly wipe out the Vascones. Oh, and they're down. There we go. That's wiped out some of them. And I want this unit to... I could go for the tower, I suppose. Ah, go for the... Let's get all of them to fight the scorpions back here. They're going to be a handful otherwise. I think I can probably get these four now. These are my Iberian swords. I don't have any scutari. I got one unit of scutari swordsmen, unfortunately. I'm going to drag them to about here. I'm going to use up all my artillery fire first before I before I actually go for them. As a matter of fact, one of these could probably go for this wall by here to weaken the skirmishers even further. I don't have any cavalry at the moment, so I'm going to have to be a bit wary of, of their slingers. But if I can hold this by here, take this tower, then i got a chance to push up and take the rest of this, this settlement. Wall damage is 10. Scutari down to 18. Uh, Scorpions down to 18 and 15. They're losing men, that's good. One or two more shots should do it. This is weakening them as well, the skirmishers on the wall. 20% damage. Let's get them all going for them right now. While they're doing that, let's just push straight up. It's going to take the capture point, hopefully. Only got one unit of ballista remaining. Better make it some good shots. Scorpions going down to one. Oh, look at that. One more shot there and that might might actually fall. They're losing men. I probably need to reinforce with my skirmishers. Let's bring the skirmishers up as well to about there. 95. Oh, that's a shame. Look at that. 95% damage on the wall. I have no ballista left. I think I have a unit of ballista in my reinforcing army, so I could have done it if my reinforcements were here. Just taking my time, no need to to panic. We're still at full strength, more or less. I can still take these skirmishes are gonna be a pain in the ass though going forward, so I'm gonna actually lock my Iberians and just charge. Fast forward this. Get them in there. Oh, train rate's going down a little bit. There we go. As expected, the tower's going to be doing lots of damage. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Warriors, ready. Just fucking get in there and fire. Fire, you mad fucks. Kill them all. They should have put spearmen on the walls, really. I think I may have helped them out a little bit. Now, are these going to route now? Surely these men are going to route. That's right, get them all in there. Go for the scorpion with this one? No, we go for the 
the skirmishers were there. Well, my skirmishers now I can continually pepper them there. Send that one over there. They can go for the scorpion there. Oh my god, we're losing out here. How the hell can Swordsman lose the skirmishers? Does not make sense. What is going on? Waiting for the skirmishers there. Iberian swords. Send this unit down here. Oh my god. They got this, their general, but look, the thing is over here. Let's get all my slingers in. There we go. Gonna hold this this front of the. We could take this capture point here as well. Let's see. Maybe we can go for our first capture point. Hold our first capture point, I think, because they have lots of men come in. This is where we send everyone else into the settlement now. We need everyone in here. Let's get in there, guys. Get in there. Skirmishers. Skirmishers. Let's bring these skirmishers up here. Warriors. Slingers. Let's bring the slingers to the tower. Take that tower because it's going to keep firing at me otherwise. Everyone else is moving apart from the ballista crew. That's fine. It's good, it's good, it's good. We've taken a capture point. Is this unit firing at me? I think they are, yeah. Let's pull back. Let's actually bring them forward. Holy shit, we haven't taken the skirmishes out yet. What is going on? Darlingers! Losing too many men. It's going to be nip and tuck all the way, this is. Hurry up and get that capture point, please. Right on you bastards. Okay, capture point one is down. Need to take this one over here. This is the main one we need to take. Missile warriors. Just going to bring all these across like so. Setting capture points only by here, mind. We could take this. Would they react? I don't know. What are they going to do? Yeah, they are reacting. Quick reload. Quick reload. Quick reload. And sh throw them straight in. We're also going to send two of the sword units forward. While these two are going to flank to the right. These units are going to flank to the right as well. Frenzied. Aim for the Scutari there. Okay, this is good, this is good. Just send them into the big mosh pit over there. Are they reacting? I don't know if, they, if they're even going to react to me taking the second capture point. Do I need the main one to take the, the town though? Oh, I'm not sure. We're going to flank right anyway, regardless. We do actually have some cavalry now, which is my reinforcements coming in. We're going to march them, um, throw them straight into the settlement. I just want to get them involved, for God's sake. They are my main unit here. Oh shit, this is not going good. Aim for some of those tribesmen behind. The general's in the centre over here. Yes, Gutari cavalry. And we have both capture points, and it hasn't made a big difference at all, so we're now going to send skirmishers to this tower over here. These men are gonna. Oh god, go forward. Swordsman and them and my general bring them all forward. We're gonna flank around with everything. Don't really want to send away my ballista crew. Missiles can come over here. Just checking all of these. We are doing damage. We've routed one unit there. Get frenzy going. That's good, that's good. Frenzy. Frenzy. Headhunt, frenzy. And some inspiration. Mercenary hoplites. Throw them in as well. Take this capture point there. This sword unit can come to this left flank because that's where they needed the most, I think. Cavalry should be on the way. Where are they gone? Oh my god, where the hell are they? 
Oh, hang on. Oh, they have to come all the way across the river. That's not good. Uh, better loot than ever, I guess. Battle rhythm. This tower is now going to fire for me, which is good. Get the slingers behind. So much flanking involved in this battle. And these yet men. But this unit's got ammunition left, so they can go for them. The skirmishers. Oh my god, are we going to do this? Like that, I think. Probably for the best. Get phalanx going. I could probably drop some of these warriors behind the hoplites. Hoplites are going to be key to this battle. If I am to win. Salingas! Get this unit now, which is flanked, to try and try and flank that way. Come on! Don't fail me, pathfinding. For some reason, they don't seem to be attacking properly. Come on! There they go. They're starting to go in now. That's good. Quick reload on them. Where? Oh, my cavalry! One of the cavalry units is here. Where can we go with this unit? Flank right. I want to take the general out. If I can take their general, where is he? Over here. Could probably flank around with the cavalry. Send them to this capture point over here. Try and flank around with them. Can I go around here? Maybe doesn't look like it, does it? Holy shit! We're doing well on this flank. Oh, well done, guys. Well done. That's good. Cavalry is not running. You run, you bastard. You run. Right. This cavalry unit can do the same. Get them running. Iberian cavalry. Just throw them all in. And what do we have left over here now? Some Scutari spearmen. We need them. We definitely need them. Let's bring them forward for now. A little bit of inspiration. The Scutaris over here. Run, you weird people. Get up there. Chase them down. Right, these three units can now flank around. My skirmishers, well, two of them got ammunition, so they can come to here. The other two sit tight in the capture point for now. The Scutari cavalry, the generals now come in to attack me as well. Oh, they got more men they send towards me. Tries want to come back. Shit. Not going to take this this thing because we need to dismount. I don't want to dismount. I want to keep them on the horse. We can go for a downhill charge. Avoid some of the shots from the towers over there, and we can break this unit now. Frenzy charge. I'm actually going to go for the general with this cavalry unit. Holy shit! Breaking me. Frenzy. Tribunas. Spearman needs to get up here quickly. Holy shit. Frenzy. Yeah, Hoplite is going to be doing well for me. They've, they haven't lost any men yet. They're still on. They're not actually involved in the fighting, but I'm hoping that once they do break through, they'll just fall onto my, my, my pikes. And shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, the click in's not going very well today. Get in there. Right, these two. Sling them from the back, quick reload. Oh man. They're down to 40 men. Oh, they're losing loads of men, their, their general is. Once their general goes, this battle should be fairly straightforward. Bring the skirmishers forward. Scutari taking forever to get over here. Unfortunately. We actually have some some stats that we can use as well take out them units there continue to hit them in the rear oh and we've taken the general out right, it's gonna be straightforward now hopefully oh they got more men look at this full units shit 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 they got full units on the way coming from over here alright if I can hold them off 
I have to throw everything towards him now. Everything has got to come out this way. I can hold this capture point with what I have. And then I think we might be able to, as long as we can hold off this kind of gap by here. It looks like this is where the reinforcements are coming from. And I have more men on the way. Right, get these men in the in the in here. Shit. Kill them. Kill them all. Holy shit, this is this is gonna be very tight. 160, 160. Oh my god, we're losing too many men. Losing way too many men. These, these units are going to have to come into the town as well. I know they're rubbish, but just get them in there. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Take up the swords, man. Oh my god. I got, <laughs> I got noble cavalry holding everyone up by here. Let's try and manoeuvre a bit. Try and drag them over here. At least. Oh my god, how can we not get in this... This capture point, I never know. Inspire the Hoplite units. Let's go for a charge. Charge them, come on. Oh my god, they're so tired. For what it's worth, we go for a frenzy charge. Get my slingers to continue, continue firing. Let's get these units into this capture point. Actually, Whew, we've taken. <laughs> we might just, we might just squeeze our way through this now. We've got barely any men left. We do have some units on the way, but they're going to take forever to get here. I'm afraid. Hoplites, you know what we're going to do with the hoplites, don't we? They're going to send them here. Iberian swords are gonna flank for me. The general's just gonna hold up here for a few moments while I <laughs> try to compose myself. Holy shit, this is gonna be close. Send these in. I think they've only got these three units left, mind. I think they've only got these units left, so we should be able to do it. As long as I do nothing stupid. Hit that phalanx, baby. Hit that phalanx. My general's just going to rest here for the moment. Luckily I have reinforcements of my own. Ninety-four against sixty-seven, sixty-four. We should just edge it, but they got the, uh, the archer towers firing upon me. Frenzy! Frenzy charge! Charge! Kill them all! 56 against 88. We should should get the better. Oh my god, what have they got? Oh no, Scutari Spearman. <laughs> oh my god. Oblite. He's got to hold on for 84 seconds. That's all i got to hold on for. You guys can now come in here as well. I'm going to have to use my general, I think. I'm going to have to use my general before long. Just hold up as long as possible. Push the hoplites forward. 64 seconds. Oh man. Am I going to do this? I don't think I can. Cute fire. 54 seconds. 53. Right, they're going to bring the general forward, I think. Yeah, he's going to have to. They felt flanking me. They're going to have to come forward. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Scutari Spearman, get the fuck in here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm almost shaking. What? Are they retreating? Holy shit. My hoplites can hold them there. 25 seconds, I can do this. Surely I can do this. I, I just got these these uh, ballista crews here, just in case they, they do break through. I'm just a little bit concerned. Get those slingers to hit them on the way. We've done it. Holy shit, we've done it. Two, one. Yes! Fuck yeah. 
That was insane. They've lost half my men. They've lost just over half of theirs. 20 minute battle duration. What the most kills I had to think. Just look at the kills on the slingers. Holy shit. Scutari, Scutari swordsman. 328. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we want Scutari. Oh, shit. Noble death. Oh, man. Okay, that's enough. Oh! My god. I didn't think I was going to do that for a second. Occupy. Fuck yeah, I'm going to have a new, new general. We've taken Iruna. We also have got... Uh, look at that, we got... The Heralds of Antisha is full stack still. Oh my god. I got my ballista crew, we got general over here as well. Ah. They, uh... They got... Yeah, this is going to be... <laughs> right, I'm going to continue this episode, actually. I want to get as much done as I can, so it's probably be a longer episode than the previous few. I want to get another battle in. I'm going to sit tight with this army here. It's a full-stack army. I think we'll be okay there. I'm going to try and take uh, Emporia, I think. But they're still suffering attrition right now, so... I might just continue to sit here and let them come to me. Meanwhile, my navy is now docked here. I could... Can I reach their navy? No, I can't quite reach their navy. I could probably defeat their navy, though, so that's good. This uh, army's going to move here shortly. Pff, they can sit tight there. Oh, man, that was insane. Right, end turn. We'll see what happens in the end turn phase. My, oh, my, that was one, one hell of a battle. It's a good thing I had reinforcements on the way, because even if I had lost lost out then in the centre, I probably would have relied on my reinforcements. As it happens, all my reinforcements are still on full stack. This, you know, they haven't lost a man. Oh, what are they doing? Where are you going? Yeah, and this has disrupted them. Are the Volca going to finally attack me? I don't think they are. They, they're going south for some reason. Right, subversion. Sabotage. Mauritania and Galicia, 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 Galicia. They're unhappy, but we got 20 plus, so we're not happy to worry about that. Mauritania, where's that? All the way down here? Holy shit. Oh my, minus 11. I haven't. I see what I've done. I haven't actually upgraded this stuff, so don't want to do any of that. No. What do we want? I can't even afford to do most of this. I can go for a harbour, which provides. I'll go for a harbour, that should help out a little bit. It's cost me a shitload of money, but oh well. And we'll just skim our way over here. That even makes sense. Skim? I don't know. I could probably go for them now, but they're not even in my land. They're raiding, but they're raiding in my enemy's land. Oh, they're in Force March. Two of them, right. This is the weaker army of seven, but this one's got nine. Saying that, Numantia could probably take them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm feeling very adventurous right now. I'm gonna take this army to here. I'm going to get that ballista. Get that ballista baby to get 15 and then we're going to go to here, to the border. I could attack on this turn maybe? I don't know. 11 plus 2 plus 1 plus 12. Plus it's quite strong. I'm going to go diplomacy for a second. Curious to see whether they will join. They would take peace. They wouldn't join the confederation still. You stupid, unreliable bastards. I could have peace with them again, and then... Then wipe them out. I'm thinking about it, but no. I've got to attack these guys, so... I can't reach either of these. We can get... There in a couple of turns, though. I'd rather be offensive, so let's go and attack them. With this army. So we've got two of them now to send in upon Portus Ammonon. These guys are just going to sit on the bridge by there while this one goes forward. I know they could take Palantia now because Palantia is down to a garrison of 11. Oh, these are in forced march. Uh, can't do anything with that. No armies nearby unfortunately. Everything's in the north now. They've stopped. Ah right, these guys have now stopped their attrition. They're only going to... look at that, 5 and 2 plus 14, much weaker. We can now 
I think we can now probably attack them. Can't afford any mercs, don't need any mercs. We're gonna attack them straight away. Emporii. Boom! Right, so they do have 1212 plus 834. Right, I'll see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So, <laughs> much harder city to take this time, I think. Oh, they got men on the walls. This is excellent. Right, I'm gonna take one of these units to go for this wall over here. I'm actually gonna control this with myself. Oh, they maybe. Yeah, I'll try one there. Looking good, looking very good. Boom! Take that, you motherfucker. So, 18% damage there. The gate's also getting damaged by the other two ballistas as well. Like the last battle, we're gonna do as much damage as we can to the gate and the men on the walls before we actually try to go in. Now, they do have some men over here. So, we're gonna take them out straight away. I think we're gonna take the full line of Scutari. That will take them out easily. We can rush them with this and then we can go back. I do have some men on the ladders as well. That's my general, plus some cavalry. No reinforcements this time, we're on our own. And hopefully we can do as much damage as possible. Boom! Gate's 58% damage. 60, oh, holy shit, they're down. No, not quite, so they, they're gonna be dying though. They are dying, they're losing loads of men. This is good for me. Oh man. Where are they disembarking to? Just gonna jockey them for now. Just walk, no point running. Save enemy. Oh, look at that. One unit's gone completely. This one is down to 30. And now, the gate is open as well. Ballista! We can go for these over here. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna need slingers. That's the problem I got. I don't got no slingers this time. It's gonna cause me one or two problems, I think. I may actually push forward with with my ballista for now. Ah, this is where they're embarking to, as you can see. Excellent. Take out the Levy Freeman here, no problem. This is going to be good. They're not all off the ships yet. Can't attack until they're all off the ships, unfortunately. Just completely surround them. Easy. Easy peasy. There they go. One drought one already. Completely mauled them. Completely mauled them as they got off the shore. Haven't lost a man yet. 160 all the way, baby. And this one can now break off. And these two can... There we go. Haven't lost a man, taking two units out. Excellent. That's that's good value, that is. Good value. We can bring them forward now. In a long line. I'm gonna march walk them forward, not uh not go too mental on them of course. They do have thirty six, thirty plus hundred and eighteen. I'm just gonna hold fire for now with my ballista. So these units can now drop the siege equipment. This is my Iberian Spearman, one unit of Scutari as well. They're my weaker units, but we can actually try to come through the city now. Through there, straight through the gate, as the rest of my men walk up now. And let's have a quick look at my kills. So we had 19, 31, 50, 39, and 16. So very well. They're very well there. I'm holding off my fire because these units now are, well, apart from these skirmisher units here, they are. They're going to be a pain in the ass. So let's try and let's try and aim for them, perhaps. Maybe if we can take out the wall. I don't know. We'll aim for for them with one anyway. While these men just go forward. Ah, oh, excellent. They've pushed. They positioned themselves this side of the wall. Let's go for the wall then. In that case, these men are going to use lose up a lot of men from these archer towers. That's why it's important they're getting quickly. And take these towers. And the wall is being damaged. It's good for me. Very good for me. 115. They got some of the men down here and some of them are up here. Holy shit, right. Throw them into the skirmishers. Halt with these three. I'm gonna bring the ballistas forward again to about there. I'm not gonna commit the cavalry yet. Just bring them to to here. 
important I take this tower. Where's the rest of their units? Right, we can see now that they have Celtic warriors over here. So it's important to aim for the the centre circle over here, the capture point, because that's where their their men are going to be. Warriors eager for blood. And look at look at the ballista flying in. Boom! Oh, look at that. That was good. Kill lots of them there. They're just going to continue to fire into that that area while I try to take this gate that they're actually making it hard work to take this gate meanwhile we're gonna push up with these five units of Scutari hopefully I should win this battle and Emporia it will be mine lovely design of this city you know it looks quite it looks quite advanced you got nice like little buildings with design on them but they look nice horse over there it's very pretty stuff very nice very enjoyable on the eye. There we go, we've taken this tower now. We hunger for blood on battle. Let's get the cavalry. Let's get both these units in. They are routed now, it's good. Let's get them in about there. I'm just going to ignore these two units, I think don't really... Uh, let's see, we can send one unit to attack them I think. Yeah, one unit of spearmen should be able to take both of them out no problem. The rest though, we're going to commit to go forward. Out here. That should be okay. Once I discover where they are, there they are. We can continue to fire upon them. We're going to go for... Oh man, we're spoiled for choice. We're going to go for... Oh, it's disappeared again. What on earth is going on? It's going to come back. I want us to go for the general. Anything in this area should be good for us. Where's he gone? Light horse. Is that the general? Nope. There's the general by there. Let's go for him. Quick reload. Let's bring everything in behind them. Cavalry I can probably outflank them with. Can I? Oh, shit. I can't go through there. Seriously, I'm going to have to go around in that case. Send the cavalry around. Yeah, I can have flank with the cavalry. So the cavalry can go there, and then up here. That's the aim of my cavalry to flank around. But at least, oh my god, we've got some terrible lag all of a sudden. It's one of the things I hate with these siege battles. It's too damn to lag for me quite a bit when I'm recording. Unfortunately. Let's commit this unit forward. There we go, this lag has sorted itself out, more or less. That's why I'm not zooming in. Their general's routing, that's good. Oh my god, what's cavalry doing? Cavalry move, you fucking weirdos. But there. Oh, this, this unit can take the tower as well. Oh my god, look at this. I'm just going to do a quick zoom over here. And I got 60 frames per second, so this is. This is strange. 29 over here. 30, 34, 40, 60. Hopefully this will be better now as I come back in to the city. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, that's better. We're back normal. Excellent. Frenzy charge into the levy freeman. Boom! Straight into them they go. This unit's going to take the towers for me. I'm probably going to have to go for hammer and anvil time with the cavalry. Gonna try to flank around with these two units. And these as well. Send them all in. Their general's dead, by the way. Why isn't the cavalry moving, you flaming useless horses? Gotcha! <laughs> Get out. Let's take them on a ride around here. There we go. Take the freeman away. And I'll go back in for the charge when their back's turned. Do all this from distance just so I can kind of not, not lag as much as as I have been. Just checking everything at the moment. 
Oh, charge into the back of them. It's not a bad charge. Killed by four or five. We're going to take the tower so we can move away again now with the cavalry. Could probably commit some men over there. All my ballistas out of ammunition. Brand new wah 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 weird people. <laughs> I'm back in for a charge. Boom. And while I charge in now and hold them up here, I can now send the spears in as well while I have the tower firing upon them. And now it's just a matter of time. Surely. We got Scutari men. Scutari warriors in here. Scutari spearmen, even better. We should be doing better against them. This unit can come here. You know, try to outflank them. What have they got in the centre circle? In the capture point, they have spearmen, freemen, mercenary Gallic warriors. flank with them. We're actually going to come into the capture point with this unit. It's only a matter of time before we win this battle. Without flanking them, without manoeuvring them. Hull formation. Just control G, get them locked so they can all just tighten up their, their position. We're going to go straight for Levy Freeman. This unit of Iberian Speedman is holding up fairly well against the levies. I'm going to go for the light horse if possible. They're all going to mass route before long. We've killed their general. It's only a matter of time before the morale debuff takes effect. And then we should have an easy victory, or fairly easy victory. But I think the worst part of this battle has been the lag, actually. We have lost a couple of full units, but we've kept most of our Scutari Spearmen, which is useful. I think Scutari Spearmen tend to be the best unit for the Iberian tribes, it does appear. So there we are, close victory. Lost 491, they lost 1,429. Most kills, Ballista had 114. Oh, Scutari Spearmen 152, that's really good. So you can see how useful they are. Much better than these tribesmen and regular Iberian Spearmen. Boom, straight in the gut, there you go. And Emporiae is ours, we shall occupy it. An increase in rank, and ooh, Imperium has gone up again. Excellent, so we're going to get our cunning up. Gonna have over 1,000 coins next turn, cricket income. Ooh, we've got lots. We have all of Hispania Citeria, so we can actually issue an edict. So. I think the best one to go for is probably bread and games. We get more food, we get more growth, and we get four public order. So a little bit of bread and games, probably the best one to go for, I imagine. And we have ourselves another settlement. We can uh, increase, so we can, we can actually spend next turn probably uh, repairing all of this and converting all of this to our our building types. This army is probably good to hold up here. Bread and games will take effect next turn, which will help our public order. We can start repairing some of these buildings and stuff. We have a runer as well, which is useful. And we are closing in on Portus Ammonon and the Viscona. We do have two armies here to worry about, but I think we can probably deal with them. They would take, they would actually take a ceasefire. How much would they give me though? Can I ask for 4,000? No. Just going to see what they would go for. 3,000? No. Would they give me 2,000? No. You tight bastards. 1,000. They would do a 1,000 by looks of things. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like this for now. I want to wipe them out anyway. If I take this port of Salmon, they might join me in the end. But I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.